Hey, listen up, man. It's your boy, Big Star, man. Two off the streets. We somewhere in New York, man. We on 74th in Lexington, some shit like that. Out here looking for these e nets man. We out here looking for that. Out here with his cousin, DC, man. That's called me. He said, Star, come visit me. I'm in New York. What do you say, Park Ave? He said, he said he own Park Ave, you know what I'm saying? So this two off the streets, my man. DC, we looking for Ness. Hopefully, we come back at this break. We done found my man. Ness got us on the dummy mission out here walking around. It's cold as shit. So, get on, y'all. Check out this hot spinach. We come back. Hopefully, we done found Ness. All right? Peace. Finally reached Park Ave. That's Park Ave right there. Something in Park Ave. So my man Ness around here somewhere. So we're gonna go try to find him. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully after this break, we're gonna be sitting with my man eating that. Neutra. What's up, my nigga? Yeah. What's up, man? What's up, Neutron? Let the streets know what's hitting for, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how we do it. Big Star, Big Two Off The Streets, Big Star, Behind The Scenes, making a band three. You know what I mean? Let them know where we at right now, man. You right had now, us running around all over town right now, trying to right find now, Park Avenue. Right now, we in New York, 74, 75th of Park Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Puffy Crib, $16 million. He on the old building. You know what I mean? Anybody that's not in the know, Park Avenue is a real expressive place in New York. It's like where all the rich people live at. So, yeah, this be in Puffy Crib right now. I have to go up and check the crib out. You know what I'm saying? So what you been up to, man? What's the situation right now? Basically, man? you know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to uh, the second album coming out in April. So that's what y'all working on it's right now? It's in the title right now, but you know what I mean? It's still too hot for TV. And um, March 4th is when the third season of Making a Bed come on, so that's how we popping it all. Got you. What y'all have been up to as of lately? Just, you know, when y'all leisure, what's, what's um, been going on, man? Basically, you know, me, I'm gonna try and put out this mixtape. Yeah. Making a band. So you jumping a mixtape off or something? Yeah, I got the um wide chum, rest your neck, you know what I'm saying? It's my label coming out with the mixtape called Rhyme of Crown, Volume One, featuring Wide Chum, Young Hitman. Y'all gonna see a lot from them. Y'all gonna see them on the tape. Too rough for the streets. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Big Star, though. You been doing your thing, man. Word up. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we pop up and do the season, we get a crazy expensive house. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? So this the actual set right here or what? Yeah, this the actual set of the crib. Word up. We all cleaned out right now. Oh yeah, like what's what's going on in here right, right now? Like at this stage. Um, this stage right we be done taping the show. The show's over. Oh yeah? Yeah, and um right now we just cleaning up, you know what I mean, getting MTV wrapping up, getting all these stuff out of here. So. Yeah. A lot of drama that happened in here in the last couple yeah, of weeks, a lot months. Of drama. <laughs> yeah. Everything, refrigerator, stove, cabinet, stay in the hall. Sink full of dishes, you know. Yeah. You know, Any nice good day. memories went down in here the last couple yeah, weeks? <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of good memories. Mary J. Blige just came through. Oh, yeah? You know what I mean? She sat with us and chilled, talked with us for a while, gave us some pointers on the business. You know, she been through a lot. She been yeah. in the game for so long. Shouts out to Mary J. Blige. If you didn't see it, I'm on her DVD too. They came out with an album. No doubt. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> <This one. 
The straight reality crib right here. <laughs> what happened? What was what area was this right here? This was the um the living room. Right here, this is like the little patio where we used to chill, come had meetings with Puff. Yeah. About the album. What stuff. was right here? Right here was a bar. We had a bar, a whole bar right here. So what they put it all in and take it yeah. back out? That's how they do it. That's TV, man. Reality That's crazy. TV. Everything, everything was bought for a specific reason. And if they don't sell it, because they auctioned everything off that was in the house, yeah. a couple of days later after the show was over, whoever they ain't bought, they take it back and get their money. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Everything. Everything. They don't waste no money. <laughs> everything. They said we want everything back out of that crib. They took everything out of here. Everything. <laughs> Fred and who? Dylon. Fred and Dylon? <laughs> it's all behind the scenes. It looked way better than this. Yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? Everybody get the pile in there. Who's that? Dylon and Fred. He said, where they at? Oh, uh, Dylon and, um, I mean, Fred and Chopper was there. Dylon, somewhere in Sarah, somewhere with a husband, and, um, Dylon, we ain't heard from him in a couple of years. <laughs> a couple what? A couple of years. <laughs> he said yeah. we ain't heard from Dylon in a couple years. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Behind the scenes, making a band three, your boy Enes, two raw from the street. Starface. Big star, Starface, you know what I'm saying? Check it out, man. Only, only, only I can bring you from the projects to Park Avenue. You get Word it? Up. <laughs> projects, Park Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I what, 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 rags what, to riches. What do it be feel like? Like, like can you write like and, and get your real like street inspiration when really, you in the environment? Really like, I can't like for, for those that you know niggas was hearing me used to hear me on the mixtapes and shit. You know what I'm saying? But now basically, it's like it's the, it's the transaction to what you do on the album is more is, is, is digitally mastered, so you're not gonna hear the extra. Ad libs, the three or four ad libs that, that you're used to just doing, team. yeah. You know what I mean? Now it's a Give me another one. Give me yeah. punch you. Give me another one. Give me another pattern. There's a certain way that you have to do things now, and it's just all in being in the game. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But, you know what I mean? As far as being in the crib, it's kind of hard to have the real inspiration on you when you. Um, what, Dad? Babs plotted on that right there? So what, she yeah. bought this right here? So she bought that right there? Yeah, she bought that. Oh, Bass, that. We, you could cop shit. Get that right there. Bass cop that 350 glass table. was nothing. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You writing the same? You feel yourself writing the same? Like, you know, sitting out here? Yeah. Yeah. Writing definitely the same. Definitely writing the flames. Yeah. It's crazy. We even had team people fucking interviews in here. Puffin came in, we had a wild, crazy party. Y'all missed out on the party, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, unfortunately. It's a rough for streets. It's like a ghost town in this joint right now. Yeah, they just moving out and shit. So what's your situation like as of, as of today? Like, yeah. as of today, what's happening as right now? I'm on the studio, um, knock out the album and shit. This is the dirty south room. Right here. And my man Chop right there. It's the bathroom. Kind of jumpy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is how we live in, man. Bathroom. That's funky fresh. Motherfucker walk in. Walk in, shower and shit. Word. Yeah. It's far from the hood, my man. Yeah. This will be that we in the hood. Freddie P. Too raw for the Too streets in the street. building. <laughs> What's up, man? Here we are, just getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Stalin Dean. You know what I'm saying? My man Q, my man right is over at Stalin Dean. Look out for your boy with the gear and shit. Oh, damn, they hot. You feel what I'm saying? 
It's nothing to me. I pop tags every day. So what y'all like? What y'all what y'all get into right now? Y'all studio in it? Like how studio, long y'all actually gonna be at this spot right here? Like oh, shit like just that. Just until the, um, the album get done. Yeah. Yeah. Just right until right. until we finish the album. Gotcha. Shit coming out real fast though, people. Go cop it, man. If you ain't cop the first joint, two out for TV, go cop that. It's in stores, it's gold. So as of today, that's what I'm about to say. What's you know, what's the whole you know prognosis on the album? Like how the first joint do? Um, the first joint, like we we should, we should be up to like what. 733 or something like that. Word. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Um, usually your first week is your biggest week. We did 225 our first week. A lot of people hate like, yeah, they had MTV, but you know what I mean? You gotta remember when we first started out, we ain't we ain't we were just a starving artist. All we wanted was a chance to be heard and a chance to be a part of something. So we ain't know it was gonna be on TV and all that. So the TV shit did help us out a lot, you know what I mean? I feel lucky that I got the opportunity, you know what I mean, to take advantage of that. So that's where we at with it right now. But, uh, Let the streets know what it's hitting for, brother. Let know what it's hitting for, brother. Gosh, you falling back a little crazy. Yeah, Gosh, yeah. I see you all blinging all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you blinging all crazy. That's what's yeah. up, man. Just, you know, yeah. Doing my dips, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Dropping TV up. You know Got what I'm saying? Y'all heard me, it's your boy, young mother. Chop here, dead. The wall is in his so you all inked up? I mean, you know, <laughs> I know all the <laughs> Got you. So what's, your, what's the situation right now, man? Like, how do you know how this, all this feel, like, you know, going down for you? I know you done talked about it a million times, but it's the streets right here. Be for real, you know what I'm saying? Off taking them from the project, so I come at it like this, man. Like, we doing our thing, bro. So it's like it did. Just blessed to be here. Yeah. You heard me? I come out here from the project. Yeah. Wild New you feel me? Yeah. Like, you can come from a rough place, so yeah. to be here right now is like a blessing. Yeah. Then like when we top it off, you did is to be here with like all my niggas just there. Yeah. Elliot Nessie from Philly. Yeah. You know, so like we, we keep we keep upgrading each other, you Yeah. Did. Nessie, man. It's lyrical, man. I'll tease you, babe. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Like, you know, he's that boy, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm the young fly. Wow, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> the character ass nigga, you feel me? That's that's the straight giggity gutter, you understand? So I, I'm not like every day, every day in this band, everybody in the band, you did. Yeah. Play a different part. Yeah. Y'all feed off each other, you did. We all got good chemistry. So like Puff, man, Puff, that is a genius, dude, you did. Cause I, I see like, hold on, water. You got, it, you got. It. I'm straight right now. You feel yeah, me? hell yeah. Hey, let's move on way fast. Like, like tell me, like, like what really, like honestly, like with that. It was for you, like your whole experience. Like I know Ness experience, like how you know he got in line the first day making the band. Like tell me how that shit went down in your neighborhood. Like you, how you first got hooked up with all. That. You really want to know the truth? Word up. <laughs> you about to get it? Hell yeah. Check it out. You feel me? Back in the days, now nah, like now nah, I can't say back in the day. I'm a teenager still. Yeah, hell yeah. Like like in a G, you did like. I was just rapping, you know what I'm saying? Rapping was my thing. I was incarcerated for like six months in the juvie hall. I was like 15, 16. Doing my wild thing. I was out here, you did thugging. Rapping, it was just something I could do, you did. It was just something like, you know, like, because cash money, all them around my way. Mainly yeah. all them from Uptown, oh, BG yeah. from the 13th, you got Junior from the 3rd, Turk from the 3rd, Wayne from the 17th. So it's like, oh. you feel me? Like, I looked up to them, you did. Like, you know, Lemmy came out, shit was cool, they put us on the map. You feel me? But when, 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 when Cash shit Like that, like when, when, when No Lemon jump off, that shit be really motivating y'all. Yeah, it's like, motivated we, us. We like, got some hope, like, nigga, check it for us down it's, here it's, now. It made it feel like it did. It made it feel, it made us feel like, you heard me, like, you feel, you feel it's you cool know? to be from the N.O. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why did y'all feel it? Like, you know, from down there, feel like y'all out of the scope of hip hop a little bit. Yeah, we are, man. Yeah, like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, it, it should be like a lot of politics too. Yeah, I mean they got the little circle. Yeah, you know, but like nah, nah, the world done changed. You heard me? Yeah, it's a different game right now. Except in a lot like, of different shit. South is in. Yeah, like, <laughs> South and just these one of them type niggas. You feel me? Yeah, South got some little just like me. Uh -huh. You heard me? That's 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 laying it down like yeah. real talk. You Hell heard yeah. me? Then it's like me laying it down. You feel me? So like, the, the, the man of South, man, we here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We here, cousin. The South Side Riders, you know what I'm saying? We are really here. You heard me? I done went from nothing 
you know, to get a little change in my pocket. You heard me? So yeah. I, 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 I'm loving the game right now. You heard me? I go back around my neighborhood in my old school mm -hmm. on 22s. You understand? <laughs> Starting the roof off. You feel me? They love me, like you know, home, my home love me. And you know the kids really attend to me, so like since I'm like young and dead, yeah, it's like it's all good. Get them some inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Definitely get the kids yeah, some inspiration. Man, inspiration, you know what I mean? bro. Because when I was young, you know, I ain't had really nothing to look up to, man. Yeah, you know, my brother was out there, he got killed. You know what I'm talking about? So nobody was there. I was my own leader. Then like when I met my manager Jay Jackson. You know, he, he changed my life, you feel Yeah. Me? I met him at uh, AMS. Yeah. He had this shit called American Music Suit. Yeah. So I met my manager there, man. That changed my life ever since. Word. Ever since my manager came in the picture. All this shit. All that. All this shit. All that shit, bruh. Went up for my manager, man. I wouldn't have nothing. I got a crib, you feel me? I got a whip, you heard me? <laughs> got I got you. love at home, you <laughs> heard me? I'm the prince of the city, you heard me? So, like, my manager, I wouldn't be who I am right now, man. But I'm just happy. From out of the project, you know what I'm saying? Finally doing some of the stuff. Yeah. Hey, so head. let's rewind right fast and tell me how, like, you came in contact with that making a band shit. And like, when you first heard about the audition and all that shit. You know, making a band shit. I was home in New Orleans, you did. I think I was watching my little sister or some shit. Yeah. My mom, you did. She be out there. Like, my manager called me. You know what I was telling you about my manager. My manager yeah. called me up, you did. Like, yeah, they got this making the band thing going on. You need to do it. You need to do it. You need to do it. Bam, flew me so up. So you was hype about it when yeah, you first heard about real it? Right, man. Yeah. I was like, what P. Diddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So opportunities like that don't be coming around all the time. Man, like. that, I, I would never thought, I always thought, really, but I didn't want it to happen. Yeah. I didn't want to be a statistic, you dig, and be signed with a cash money or no limit. So I was just like, you know, the best thing for me to do, man. To go with the East Coast label. Yeah. Cause like, Just getting down with the stereotypical I wanna, I wanna, South situation, like getting down with no limit or something. Like, nah, I wanna get out of there. Like, Hell no, real, man. I wanted to get the fuck up out, cousin. And that's what I did. Flew up, did it, never lost. Yeah. Stayed myself. I kept real to him. I said to myself, if man, if they, if they don't feel me, they don't feel me. Obviously, I ain't lose. Yeah. So keep fighting right now. That's what's up. <laughs> He just turned 19 a day a couple gotcha. days ago. Yeah. Happy belated. Yeah, That's for what's sure, up, man. man. Like, you know, what's on my mind, bro, is just making music, being a part of this hip hop shit. Yeah. I want my name in them books before all this shit over with. No doubt. When the books closed, I want my name in there. You feel me? And I won't stop till I get my name up in there. Gotcha. And I don't want to be at the last names. I'm going to be on one of the top. Yeah. That's what's up. Hey, on another page, like, just quick describe me, like, the whole, what's the whole mentality? Like, what's the, what's the streets hitting for in, in, in your neighborhood, like, New Orleans and like that? I know they wild, you know what I mean? You really want to know. The streets in New Orleans and NOLA. New Orleans, Louisiana. How, what can I say, man? It's like, it's like, I, I, I can say, you know, it's different from all the other cities. You feel me? We got our own shit. You know what I mean? I, we our own influences, like you know, like New Orleans, man. We believe in that soldier shit. You got your, you got your people. You got your California people in the LA and them. And they Crips and they Bloods. You dead. You got your New Yorkers. They they thugs. Well, in New Orleans, we soldiers. You feel me? So we live off the soldier mentality. You feel me? That's why we always in our rounds. We're a soldier. Yeah. AK. Yeah. That's where I got chopper from. I'm a soldier. Oh yeah. Keep the chop on me. You feel me? <laughs> Hell yeah. Come around my way. I keep that chop on me, cousin. I got a whole bunch of soldiers on the roof scoping on you. Gotcha. Don't fuck with the boy. I just say, like, you know what I'm saying? You just, we all soldiers, man. So, like, when we say wall is wall, like, it's, it's real out here. It's wall. You heard me? Yeah. You go on the wall. You feel me? So, like, the wall is, man, it's different than everybody. You know, we below sea level. We're going to sink one day. <laughs> gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck. <laughs> you feel me? Like, our mentality is get it how you live. Gotcha. You live by, you die by. Straight like that. That's how it is. You live by, you die by. Get it how you live, cuz how you live is how you die. No other way. How you feel about Ness, this old flow game like that? And how, like, when you first heard him spitting and shit like that, like, what was you thinking, honestly? All right. I've been keeping it real from the heart. That's my fuck around. I keep it real with him. You know what I'm saying? What I won't what I, what I say in his face, I won't say on camera. So I'm going to keep it real like this. When I first met Ness, you know what I'm saying, like, my mama, my mama and them always told me when I was home in New Orleans, don't trust them Yankees and shit. <laughs> you know I mean? Don't trust them. I've been up there before. They, they fuck clean over me. 
But you know what I'm saying? So when I came up, when I came up on the East Coast period, man, old man Tali was like steady yourself shit. Yeah. So when I seen Ness, man, I heard him, man. He was real outgoing. Yeah. You feel me? Real like, hip hop, real street, real yeah. rugged. You know, I, he just had a gut of style with him. I seen him. I was, was that like, something man, new to you? Like, his, was, was his style like, totally new to you? His style was his. You, you can tell by the way he just looked, period. Yeah. He was from another place far away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he had his dicky. He had his um his butter zone. Yeah. He had his dickies, the butter. The Philly had 76s. Yeah. Kind of real slick with it. The boy had his swag. I'm telling you. Yeah. I heard the flow, man. I couldn't believe this shit. Like, the shit I'm hearing, like, it was totally different styles, but he was on totally different other shit. Like, yeah. I was like, damn, this. Dog, he raw, man. And Ness is a monster. He's a beast. He's the beast master. You know what I'm talking about? The definition of Ness, he's a beast master. He talk to lions, shit on tigers, and tell squirrels what to do with it. All dogs bow down. He's that boy. He's the crescendo of the band. You know what I'm saying? He's the captain. You feel me? We as soldiers, he the captain right now. You know what I'm talking about? And with the band, it's just, you know what I'm talking about? We all work together. It ain't. It ain't what motherfuckers be saying on TVs. It, it, it be the fights. I mean, brothers and sisters fight. So you feel me? It's like <laughs> gotcha. You feel me? Like the band. We love each other, man. No matter what, no matter. The, you ain't gotta submit now, but you will submit later. You know talking about? You ain't gotta submit now, but you will submit. You will submit. The band. We here. You feel me? So counters out shit. But they gonna have a dick look because we gonna keep fucking them over. Gotcha. And they think we was gonna do a third season. We pop with a third season. You feel me? We gonna keep. We gonna. We gonna keep giving the world what they want. You feel me? Me, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to say I'm a killer or none of that shit. I'm this young chopper, man. Gotcha. You feel me? Cross the line. I'm gonna put you back in your shit. You feel me? This is how it is. Well, I'm me. That's what's up. <laughs> Real streets, New Orleans, third That's what's wall. up. Appreciate the let. let I know who you was feeling off the Ground Zero joint, man. Off the, off the Ground Zero shit, I got to give it to my young boy Chico, man. I like yeah, him, he man. was spending some shit, wasn't yeah, he? He was some rough shit with the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, he fucking cold, you heard? Yeah. Me? Chico and Beast. You're like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's your boy, E-Beast. Coming to the, the crazy bathroom right here. He was going to fuck this But anyway, we're going to keep moving on. Y H M is the foundation, you know what I'm saying? I've been with the Y H M for years, and now I want to keep saying the same thing. But you know, what I mean, the band is, this is my outlet to get in there. Yeah, to get in the door. It wasn't it wasn't no more or no less. And, I mean, a lot of times these days, that's the kind like of chopper afraid. They like they, they my new family, and they gotta accept that. And my old family, they still there riding, but they know there's, there's a lot of work to be done. So they they willing to do whatever it takes to you know, I mean, to get their face out there, to get their name out there. Cause they know they're making all the mistakes that I made. I mean, I'm trying to keep them from making all the mistakes that I made. Even though I'm the first one in the door, it was all a plan. And once you stick to your plan, I mean, it's gonna get it's gonna get greater later. So everybody that's out there rapping and spitting and like, don't think it's it's, 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 it's going away. And you keep running to the same dead ends. Everything that you did and you didn't think that was gonna make a difference is gonna pop up later. And people are gonna see how you work. And they gonna dig your work ethic and gonna respect the gangster and they gonna have to bow down to you. You know what I mean? So niggas will laugh now, but they'll cry much later. You feel what I'm saying? So we'll submit, man. It's all about it's all about you. And so what like two off the street. Man, that's like the hottest shit right there. You know what I mean? That shit is buzzing all over. Karis one, everybody know about that shit. Man, Puff know about that shit. You know what I mean? Mills know about that shit. Diplomats, everybody from all over. Fab. So many niggas, this shit is getting big, and I'm happy to be a part of it because I was one of the niggas that was unsigned that spit on the drone. You know what I mean? Now that I'm on, you know what I'm Hell yeah. Like, this is part of my Hell roots. Yeah. This is one of the stepping stones. You're alumni now, you know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> this is one of the stepping stones that I use to get my face out there to get my name buzzing. So, everybody that's spitting on these drones, man, keep doing your thing, man. Keep. Keep keep striving, cause you don't never know. One day you gonna wake up and, and you gonna be right where you always said you wanted to be. That's what's up. Hey, how how do it feel like to you know hearing like Chopper or whatever like definitely saying like yo I, I was really fucked up when I heard that flow like you know what I'm saying shit was crazy you know what I'm saying. Man, it felt good because you never know. Like, but but I don't mean to cut you off, but like really like where we from like you know New York Philly area like that's all we know. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like to, for him to hear you rhyme, and that's totally foreign. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like hearing that from somebody else that grew up totally different and t around a totally different environment, and totally different people, and you know what I mean, surroundings than you. Somebody to respect what you're saying is like it's, it's crazy, and it, the response I get is crazy. You get that love. You know what I mean? So I I, I be on the tip like, you know what I mean? I'm doing me, but I don't really know if I'm that hot because everybody around me saying I'm hot. It's just yeah, like, you want up niggas just piping ears. you or what? You know what I'm saying? So when you you you, you go out into a making a band where you got niggas from Cali, Atlanta, Baltimore, Washington, New York, other niggas that was hot in Philly, you just got so many niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you you, you just got your back to the wall. That's what the whole making a band thing was about, man. Your back to the wall, having your back to the wall, and could you produce under pressure? You know what I mean, do you have what it takes to make? It? Because most motherfuckers get in and they ain't, don't get in it for the longevity. They get in for a quick couple of hours. You know what I mean? Then they out. Me, I'm trying to like this is my career right now. This is how I'm getting paid. This is how I'm paying my bills and feed my family, put food on the table. You know what I mean? Feed my seed. So. This shit like, man, you can't make no stupid mistakes, man. You can't go out there and really start, you know what I mean, letting whatever niggas get, whatever, letting whatever niggas say get to you and just being on the side track, you know what I mean? Because then you, you'll be rhyming for them now. Now you try to rhyme to impress the people. Now you're not even making the music that you like. So what I'm saying is when you go in the studio and you go in that booth, try to make something that you like. You know what I mean? Do it from the heart, cause that's when, when motherfuckers know you coming from the heart, you gonna get that love back. What type of what type of relationship you got with Diddy? Like y'all niggas. I had a real good relationship good with Diddy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see him that much because, you know, he he's real busy. He be doing so many things in one day. It's it's it's, it's like we, like during the time we like laying down the album, we barely seen him. Yeah. So it was like not all the people think that and they're telling us with the right like always around, like yeah. Album, like your manager or something. Yeah, we, we basically knocked out the album all by ourselves. Yeah. You know I mean, under the um supervision of D Dot, Do Fat Hard. But you know what I'm saying? Like we be coming with the concepts, we do all the writing, don't nobody write for us except, you know, maybe Sarah on the hook, you know what I mean, for a hip hop type of track or whatever, because you know she she do R and B so we had to help her with some of the words and mm -hmm. help it run more smoothly. But I mean the way the way the band set up, we had the best of both. We had the best of all worlds. From Miami, from New Orleans, from Philly, rapper from NY, female. You know what I'm saying? You got the the, the reggae dance hall from Die Line. You got the R&B from Sarah. So the way we was put together, you know what I mean? I see what you know what I mean. We was going with at it, but as far as me and Diddy, we have a good relationship. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I mean? We got some big things in the future. You know what I mean, we be talking some sort of things out right now. So. Everything's on the ropes. You know what I'm saying? He, he respect me because I don't really, I don't really talk, talk about it too much. You know what I mean? I just go in and do what I gotta do. I do me and I get me at the end of the day. And respect that. And I mean, I try to get all my other members into it. You feel what I'm saying? It, we all hot. It's just that, you know what I mean? It, it, it gotta work together. You know what I mean? You gotta work together. You gotta, we gotta work together. And when we work together, the times we do work together, we come out with some hot shit. And we just gotta keep the element alive. Oh my God. I never got a big head, because I'm still excited. You know what I mean? So I know after this is over, after the show is over, we're we on our way out. We're yeah. going back to the hood. That's why I made a show. You know what I mean? I ain't just go run out and go buy some jewelry and buy a car and spend my money up. I got real estate. You know what I'm saying? And now I got a place to lay my head. And yeah. just, you know what I mean? I, I want to know that I got something out of it. I mean, mm -hmm. something to show for it. I don't want to be one of them that just say, fuck it. Then he come in and say, man, fuck the band is over the day or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I want to know I got something to fall back. Hell yeah. You know I mean? so, Set yourself up with something in the future. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm hood, man. I'm hood. I'm so hood. Like, they don't even understand. I'm, 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 my ear is always to the street. You know what I mean? I'm always, I mean, I mean you can catch me with all the unsigned, you know what I'm saying? Unsigned and signed. Like, my man, we chill, we're free, crack, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Chris, Neef, Old Sparks, all niggas from state property, I chill with, you know what I mean? Dutch, you know what I'm saying? Gilly, Sandman, Cannon, Soul mm -hmm. Rico, that's my man. I used to live around the corner from Chico and Vop. We always used to run them, Cyphers crazy, mm -hmm. all day spitting bars. 
You feel what I'm saying? You know, my man Kenneth Delaney, to see him, man, my man Bezel, Cassidy, like, you know what I mean? We, we was all I hit you with a lot circle, of people, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, we, I didn't cross paths with a lot of people, and it was never on no, no sour shit. It was yeah. always on some do your thing, you yeah. know what I mean? So now that he's in the game, I think it should, it, 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 we should come together on some shit, like, you know what I mean? Now we in the game, now we, now, now niggas is listening. Yeah. So now niggas Take is listening. Take advantage of it. We responsible. We need to, we need to, you know, we had a responsibility to watch what we saying to these niggas. But you're not lying listening to this shit and going out and thinking, you know what I mean, that's what's up. But what we really telling is that's the way it is. That's the side of the world don't get to see, you know what I mean? That, that, that's the part of the hood niggas don't get to see. You got killing, you got robbing, you got hustling, you got, you know what I mean, you got crack babies, you got mothers on, you know what I mean, drugs, you got niggas, niggas all fucked up, you know what I mean, winos, all that shit, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right, not right now, but you know, what I mean, due time, I'm gonna want to take my lyrics somewhere else when I'm talking to some something. I mean, more than just you know, what I mean, running up in a big crib and yeah. all that shit. I mean, something that's going that's going to affect people. It yeah. may not affect you know, I mean, a lot of people, but if it could affect somebody, something that would really influence you know people's I mean? lives like mm -hmm. crazy. So, mm -hmm. Like on the ride up here, like me and DC was talking, like like I was asking him like that if he felt that you got a whole bunch of inside of you that you ain't let out yet like a whole bunch of chambers within your lyrical ability that you ain't touched yet what you think about that yeah i do because like when i was locked up i had you know i mean my mind was clear i wasn't smoking you know what i mean i wasn't getting high I wasn't drinking i wasn't out you know what i mean I wasn't getting the you know what i mean mm -hmm. so my thinking was more clear so that able me to open up different chambers that i never thought i had yeah and now that i'm out in the world there's a lot of distractions you know what i'm saying yeah. I got bills to pay you got baby mothers and you got kids to feed. It's closing up family, a couple of your chambers. <laughs> to look out for so that could sidetrack you from when I was just locked in the eight by ten. I was just getting down. I was just, you know I mean, going deep within myself. Like this, I didn't even know I felt this way about this certain <laughs> subject. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, it'd be like, <sighs> I'm glad that I'm here, man. It's like I wake up every day and be like. Still be on the block, yeah. pushing his neck out there, hustling, grinding, trying to stick up for whatever, you know what I mean? But now I'm here, I can make an impact, a bigger impact than I was out there on the corner grinding, smoking, you know what I mean? Talking bullshit, you know what I mean? Now I'm in the game. Now I'm, I'm, I'm doing shit like me and Russell Simmons, and we going to the Hip Hop Power Summit, and you feel what I'm saying? We, we doing the same people with Pharrell and 3LW, and we, we up in Boston and Chicago with Chingy and Ludacris yeah. and DTP. We doing shows with Beyonce and Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. We doing shows with all type of motherfuckers. Carl Thomas, we did Bad Boy Weekends in Atlanta and DC. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, Puff, man, that nigga's a monster, man. That nigga's a monster. And, I mean, right now, I'm coming, I'm just getting my feet wet. I ain't even eat yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Clap at me, I shoot back. That's just a reflex. That's how I feel. Because I'm always out here protecting my neck. I'm always out here protecting my neck. Because you never know, you never know who, who, who behind the scenes hate and want to take your spot. So that's why I remain to stay hungry. Because I know that's trying trying to try take my spot. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm about to hold out to the studio with daddy's house. Wow. That's got to be That's real. That's real, real. You better leave my clothes alone Shirts with the Medusa face and turn to stone Fuck their hands up in the Tahoe Bottles of Hydro Tips hollow Put one in your temple Apollo Make it hard for you to swallow Choke you out with top dollar Backstage twist some wildflower Fuck a job getting paid by the hour I can't take it That slow money is for cowards Risk my life to ice my wrist Shit Ain't fighting with fists, they land you stiff. Now you're listening to the sounds of the hitmen. If you ain't a part of my team, then you a victim to the massacre. New world slaughter, cutting this down the size and making shorter. I'm sharp like Trinidad with that pen and pad. Do for a platinum plaque and a tenor jack. Niggas mad, 
When they see me deceased, be them same motherfuckers that y'all release. Trying to get an autograph, free drinks by the bar. Ooh. Baby, we some stars, we don't know about y'all. Ah. Before I was down, I used to get jiggy with it. Came out of hibernation, got grizzly with it. Don't start that diss and you'll end up missing, they won't find you. Fuck that deal, they won't sign you. Uh. 90210, fuck no, I'm from the East Coast, got the eco, dollar slaughter Rico. Pay the rooftop, busting at your ego, you know the steezo. Pop mode till we hang over. Oh, you pack heat, we pack a flamethrower. My block's open 24 hours a day, who wants CI? A well known rubber band boy, like I was TI, don't get trapped in this music shit. Cause my nerves real bad and I'm liable to do your slick. Creep low and put one through your medulla shit. Shell shock, so don't come with all that foolishness, so why kill you? And I ain't playing. I done been shot in the jack, you crazy if I ain't spraying. I don't go to shooting ranges or practice shooting, I'm over wrong, getting that purple like Pokey Brewster. Chrome shit that spit up my fire and Lucifer. Blah blah, you know what that tech will do, ya. I'm a with an attitude, you can find me in the jungle on New Orleans and I'm living like an animal. Get on the flow, David Banner, you 50 shots to set it off. You don't really want no damage, fool. It's only a few bad boys in the south, and I'm one of them. Real niggas feel me, and hoes loving them. That's on the real haters, more kill me because I'm bubbling. That's how I feel. You don't want it to get ugly. Trust me, I done came up and I'm bring it back, 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 bring it back. It's only a few bad boys in the south, and I'm one of them. Real niggas feel me, and hoes loving them. That's on the real haters. Won't kill me cause I'm bubbling That's how I feel You don't want it to get ugly Trust me I done came up and I'm loving it Picture me now Have you whipped my cop luxury Cruising uptown When I ain't talking about Harlem I'm talking about the Harlem New Orleans And that dog That's the mall Oh yes What's up Freddie P? <laughs> I get some bars, my man. Fresh out the, fresh out the bed. That's how we do it, Exclusive. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I come from the top of the mind. I wish I could try to do an autopsy. You don't start from the top of my spine. I got a lot of shit going on now. Niggas don't understand the pound. The four pound stay right by my side like it's a tattoo or something. This for you, 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 you and your crew or something. Come on, I bring a whole clip for your crew or something. I show you what I do or something. You motherfucker wanna clip? I flip you because of my from the dirty of the south. The MIA don't make me have to bring them birdies out my house. Hey. Two twenty three is gonna murder you on the couch. Hey. You try to rob a nigga for them birdies in the couch. Hey. Side birdies in, side birdies out by three, 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 three more G just for me. You're two G from the SUB. You see this I B on Fred P. Start from the top of the dome. Come through, man. I'm popping my chrome. Fuck like y'all get killed for nothing. Same. They get killed for something Say get killed nigga for some bills or something I wish a nigga would kill me for my nigga young will or something Come on home, yummy, ride with me If a nigga wanna come, I keep the fire with him And the fire with me, I hit a nigga in his head If he miss the bullet, he gon' fall and catch himself a hickey This is how it is in the city Help a sister nigga got paid and moved with Diddy Got a crew with Diddy, blue with Diddy So true with Diddy Threw 22 on my boots with Diddy You threw 22 on a coupe with Diddy I'm loose with titties You know how I do, I threw 22 on a brand new 52 Let me take your life into a fucking tie right now And I'm talking about no fucking tie right now When the 22 roll like it's fire right now Cause you're asking fucking die right now Get cut like a pie right now Get hit like a crook when you look me in my eye right now You niggas fly right now Now watch the 4-5 when they drive right now Drive life down, it's a power drive I get in the way and I make sure I'm a guy alive Y'all niggas ain't fucking with fire Y'all niggas fucking with wires You can get touched with a nigga that'll smoke like smoking on the Dutch with a nigga Get your head fucking bust with a nigga I got niggas like Butch and Bun, Butch and Sam, same nigga got got he locked up, niggas don't talk on me. See my homie pull a hawk and let it talk on peace. Look, one, two, let it talk on three. If a nigga walk up, let him talk on sleep. Woo! <laughs> nigga gon' catch forever, better get your shit together. I ride with leather gloves. I put one through the head of your bra, one through the head of your mud, through the head of your car. Shit, shit real when you fuckin' with slugs, you gotta keep them things clean every day of the week. Cause a nigga might leave a I land in the streets and I ain't trying to land in the streets, no land in beef. I ain't cows, pow, watch yourself, watch your mouth and niggas better watch they health. Nigga, watch the right, nigga, watch the left. Man, I do it like this and this for self. And I spit it till I run out of breath. And if I do, watch a nigga come steal my shit. If a nigga don't steal my shit too raw for the streets, I'll let you boy, I'm legit. Everything that I float from the top of the mind, I might say it is out of my eyes. I don't apologize. The 4-5 or the 33 will never get me in the back. The 32 stay right there in my back like it's a tattoo. This is how we at. I'm city bound to the day that I go. Him, my aid the best. You know, you know, you heard. You see me on CD, man. I'm so superb. How I blow the earth. Lay back in the Maybach. Yeah.
we gone. <laughs> Come back home, three in the morning. We got four or five chicks in house to roam. You know, ain't nothing, man. Cousin, we blue. Man, I was blue. The car's downstairs. What we gotta do? Yeah, the studio. Studio, studio, right here. <laughs> <laughs> You dare to even disrespect the dawn We won't need to meet at a track for the tech to run I fetch you get back your neck and I smash your lungs I run past your mom and aunt and grab your son Oh, you really think I be rapping, you laughing, huh? Till I chase your generation in Africa You a thug, a killer, a gangster, you cattly, nah I'm talking that shit before my niggas clapped at you And we talking that death shit, and ain't about dying Cause I turn into a deaf kid when I bang that iron Everybody be yelling stop, but I won't stop firing Until you roll off the car, face first in the ground Get your face burst open by the end of that barrel Hit the news update, man Straight as an arrow, the things they do up state turn men in the cow. So you how you handle your business this minute and an hour. Fuck us. Yeah. Man, this shit real, this shit official too off the street. Shout out to the whole Philly, shout out to the MIA city bound. Bounce up, cause you know this shit stretch. My nigga Willie Hutch, I see you out there, nigga. New Orleans, all my thugs in New Orleans, Detroit. Gotta keep it gully, gotta keep it focused. I'm Cali. Right now we about to go to the studio working on this second album. Ain't no fucking joke, this is why I did the sign. Right here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Right now we in front of Daddy's house. Motherfuckers be shaky about the security here because they're Diddy and shit. We gonna say we gonna try to get two off the streets up in Daddy's house. The world famous. Everywhere, everybody from Biggie to Faith to Total, G Dep, Black Rob, LL Cool J. Jay Z, Beyonce, Fat Joe, anybody you name, and recorded something up ahead. So, historical studio. And I'm back to the same old me. 40 Glock stay cock case and it drop change on me. If I'm ever doing bad, you probably ain't gonna sleep. I'm outside in my SUV. 3D, two Glocks in the K, putting cane on weed. Masked up, so the cops won't put the blame on me. Start killing in 93, I got a name on me. You can't pair to kill me, dog, it ain't gonna be. I got a G unit with me and I ain't 50. The G stand for grenades and my Glock 60. If you really want that nigga who done shot your peeps or stole your keys, then dog, come holla at P. Throw some dollars at me and I'll rally my fleet and we'll come on the trolley for beef. Ain't nothing to catch a body and flee. And ain't no sense in riding with a party if they ain't gonna squeeze, fuckers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I wanna see some of this shit. I'm gonna be on all my Fucking fan, like, hey, <laughs> I said that day. Hell yeah. That's real though, man. And who y'all like, you know, not really matter, but who y'all is feeling in the game, like, right now? I'm some real? Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a whole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's first. But right now, I'm some real niggas. I'm gonna tell you niggas, I'm gonna be on Uh, definitely my nigga Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? I ask you tell the niggas, wait till he come out. A lot of niggas, niggas don't know about who lyrical in the South and niggas need to fucking step their game up and find out about it. my nigga T.I. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And nigga hard. Mm -hmm. And nigga hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, T.I. tip high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got, get up to my yeah, nigga T.I.P. Down in A-Town. David Shout Banner. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to David Banner. Shout out to David Banner. I, say, I feel, feel like, like niggas be thinking. Gotta get out of that shadow or something. Or something. Like we we were going through a lot of shit, then we had to start just checking, dog. Yeah. Like every niggas, Dylan or me and my nest just running up on niggas. Let me highlight you, dog. What you meant by this and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I've been rapping like since '93. I've been rapping since '93. Really, really, I started rapping like '91. I took it seriously in like '93. Yeah, like what was your earliest style? Like how was you was rapping the same or what? I came off on some twisted shit. Yeah, rapping real Twister. fast. I then I went to Bone Thugs and Harmony. And then I just wanted to start. That's like I say when I write, I can write in different people's voices. I used to rap in different people's voices first, but it never used to sound like them because I had my own style. I, I mean, I'm from Miami. I can't actually sound like Pac if I'm trying to if I'm trying to do him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I started off. I came off like that. So one day I was just fucking around them. I remember we were smoking on the porch, and I and how I do it is how how I used to change my styles is. I'm gonna tell a nigga to pay attention to this. Like any track, I ain't the type of nigga that you can just say, oh he got one style. That why motherfucker be like, I like your voice, or I like the way you come on the track, because I doubt to any beat. Like I might I write I write 
my melody, my different <coughs> melodies than any beat. I don't like to stick to the same melody and come off the same way or use the same delivery. <coughs> Whatever the beat is, that's how I'm gonna come off. I, I, used to, I used to do shit like this. Yo, yo, what up? And I said, if I could talk like that, I could rap like that. Yeah. You know and that's how I came up with that. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I came up a tin hut. And I said, if I could say that, a tin hut, four five to your gut. Then I just wanted to go on from there. Yeah. I want to write and saying so I want to send all my written shit. I want to send all my written shit that I ever wrote in that voice. In that a tin hood. And now when I say that, I get nutty like Eddie when I, I get nutty like Eddie when I grab to my machete, rubbing niggas is petty, but I do it because they let me understand like these a cigar props like ours with Paul, only five nine, but knock I was seven feet tall, beating player haters to the most. Some niggas call me crassin' cause I'm creeping like a ghost. The nigga with the most, and if you burnt, you toast. And if your ass wanna die, die like the Holocaust. It pay to be the boss. At all feel I'm coming to get you. Got my chopper to split you. Bet I shoot you quicker than pitch my eye down. Then you thank God for IVs. I mean, thank God for IDs. It's DOA, motherfuck the IVs. And I was like 14 saying shit like that. I, I, that prayer came through my baby wanted to come in. I was going too fast, God just snatched it real quick because I ain't even hear about it in advance, dog. I heard about it that same, like, like an hour before I went down now. But anyway, I heard it. So he was like, go down now. I was like, man, look, man, I'm getting money. He was like, I'll pay you. I'll pay you for the whole day out of my money. I said, oh, yeah? <laughs> like, go ahead, dog. I'll pay you with my money for that day. Went down there was so many fucking people, and the car had cut off on us uh, at the gas station. Cause we had a, you know how we rode in Miami old school, so we had a, a, a LTD dog. <laughs> the light was all fucked up, like you had to stick a uh, twat tie the thing together for the light to come on. At the front of the car, you got to twist the little wires together for the, the lights to come on at night. You, you could flick the switch on the inside of the car. It was your hood like that. With it. 